Jay Z's mistress died when she was pregnant. Wait, what? <laughs> this is some clickbait for that. But guess what? I'm a click it. Jay Z's mistress died when she was pregnant. Kathy White and Beyonce feud. What the? I never saw this. Jay Z's mistress. Let's see if this is click based. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's watch it. Why the f not? Let's see. Yo, when we talk about there's no rest for the wicked, we really are targeting people like Jay-Z. Allegedly, for the last couple of days, Jay has not had any sleep because the Kathy White story is back in the tabloids. And this time, it could get really messed up for Jay-Z and Beyonce. Girl, this old story could also be the blackmail that Jason Lee has on Bay's head. Because tell me why I have just found out that people first learned of the affair with Jay-Z and Kathy from her good friend at the time, Jason freaking Lee. Child, I know that we are all aware that Hova is capable of doing absolutely anything to get his way. That far we can all agree. And by anything, I mean unaliving someone who is pregnant with his child. That is the unfortunate story. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck on. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Have y'all heard about this? Am I late to the party? This is a crazy stumble. I stumbled upon this video. What? The fuck? I didn't hear about this. Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm late. I'm late to the party, y'all. Well, let's react to it. Better late than never, baby of Kathy White, known to her friends as Corey, and I have dug through every pit hole possible to gather the receipts of how Jay allegedly had poor Kathy unalived and how Bay was involved. Y'all are gonna need to get comfortable for this one because even I wasn't prepared for all the filth when I started digging. Okay, y'all, let's go to the very beginning. Basically, Kathy White was Jay-Z's mistress who died mysteriously the year Beyonce got pregnant with Blue, and she died shortly after doing an interview about her relationship with jay-z so the rumor that jay what what interview kathy white we gotta look that up kathy white interview we gotta look that up after okay we're here now guys we done found us some action we done found us some action jay-z had a side bitch jay-z had a side bitch and the year that Beyonce was pregnant, she was pregnant. And they're saying he unalived her. Well, she died the same year. They ain't going to put that on Jay. I don't know. There's, you know how these, ti these titles be. But she died the same year that Beyonce was pregnant. They were both pregnant together, same year, same time. Okay, let's figure that out. Whoa, holy moly. I didn't know nothing about this. And Kathy were together was sparked after she and Claudia Jordan were spotted at Las Vegas Town nightclub sitting at a table with Jay Z and Diddy in 2010. And Bay was not present. They were there to see the Floyd Mayweather and Juana Manuel Marquez boxing match, with sources revealing that just before they attended the Sin City fight, Jay purchased a $25,000 pair of Louis Vuitton shoes for Kathy to wear that evening. Allegedly, Jay also requested that Corey bring a few friends to ride with them that evening so that it would not look like they were a thing. Then, during their time in Vegas, Jay also took Corey gambling at the Bellagio Casino, and once again, he insisted on Corey bringing a few friends to their table in an attempt to cover their public appearances. The thing is, Jay had been allegedly smashed. Wait, 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 wait. Corey. Wait, who's Corey? I missed something. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm lost on who the hell Corey is. Who the hell is Corey? Hold on. I gotta go back, y'all. Sorry. I got lost in the Matrix. Who the fuck is Corey? and Claudia Jordan were spotted at Las Vegas Town nightclub sitting at a table with Jay-Z and Diddy in 2010. And Bay was not present. Oh, they wait, were wait, there wait, to wait, see a relationship back. with Jay-Z. So the rumor that Jay and Kathy were together was sparked after she and Claudia Jordan were spotted at Las Vegas Town nightclub sitting at a table with Jay-Z and Diddy in 2010. And Bay was not present. They were there to see the Floyd Mayweather and Juana Manuel Marquez boxing match with sources revealing that just before they 
they attended the Sin City fight, Jay purchased a $25,000 pair of Louis Vuitton shoes for Kathy to wear that evening. Allegedly, Jay also requested that Corey bring a few friends to ride with them that evening so that it would not look like they were a thing. Then, during their time in Vegas, Jay also took Corey gambling at the Bellagio Casino. And once again, he insisted on Corey bringing a few friends to their table in an attempt to cover their public appearances. The thing is, Jay had been allegedly smashing Kathy behind Beyonce's back. For Wait a minute, man. Are they talking about Corey Gamble? No. Y'all know, if y'all been following Pun Solved Mysteries, Corey Gamble, uh, he's been a hot commodity on Pun Solved Mysteries, man. He's, uh, he's in a lot of this shit going on with Diddy. And uh, Justin Bieber, all kind of other shit behind the scenes. He's a, he's a handler. He's a handler. So if they're talking about Corey Gamble, basically they're saying here, Jay-Z and Diddy was with the side piece and her homegirl in Vegas, and they called Corey to bring some friends and intertwine and make it look like we're all just out hanging out so I can say I'm with Corey and a few friends and all that type of shit so it don't look like a couple's date going on. Nah, wait, God damn it, Jay-Z, you got Beyonce and you that sloppy dog. Not with Beyonce, bro. The biggest in the game. Damn. What did she do? What did the what did Kathy White do? Cause to cheat on Beyonce, you gotta fucking you gotta be fucking with a bitch that's like she gotta be the same level or higher. You can't downgrade. You can't cheat on Beyonce and downgrade. Like, okay, yes, given Jay Z has bread, stupid bread, but still, it's like, I don't know. All right. Hey, big shout out to Underdog. If you wanna make some extra cash while you watch sports and have more fun while doing it, then download Underdog today and use code ASports to win up to $1,000 bonus cash. All you have to do is pick higher or lower on your favorite player, and you can win big. Every new depositor gets a free pick, which almost guarantees the win. So use code ASBOYS. I'll be giving picks all season long. So all you got to do is download the app, put a couple bucks, and let's get this money. Shout out Underdog Fantasy, man. Make sure y'all go download that today. For longer than Jay and Beyonce had even been married. But what was not so shocking at the time was the fact that Kathy was a close friend of Claudia Jordan, who was well known for being a homewrecker. Allegedly, just like Claudia, Kathy had openly admitted to only messing with super rich guys, and that unless a okay, so I'm lost here. They learned of Corey's affair with Jay Z. So why are they calling her Corey? I thought her name was Kathy White. Who the fuck is Corey? I thought her name was Kathy White. They call her Corey for shirt or something. I don't know. All right, uh, I, okay, I guess it's Corey is the girl. And it's not Corey Gamble. Okay, all right, let's go. Man had a net worth of at least 50 million, she wouldn't pay him any attention, which means that Hova was a perfect catch for her. Speaking of Claudia, in 2020, Crazy Days and Nights wrote a blind item saying, Our host has always stayed quiet about the death of her friend, but has become more convinced over the years that the permanent A plus list rapper had her friend. It just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture, and shortly after, he said that the friend ended up dead. The blind item later revealed the A-list host was Claudia Jordan, the rapper was Jay-Z, and Claudia's friend was Kathy. Okay, since the affair was ongoing, it was only a matter of time before fans figured it out, and tabloids started reaching out to Kathy for tea. Allegedly, two weeks before she passed on, Kathy was contacted by a major tabloid that was investigating the Jay-Z connection. She gave them little information to go on, but according to one of the sources following her conversation with the tabloid, she called Jay and told him that she was going to go public with their affair for a price. Then no, shut the fuck up. Unbelievable. Shut the fuck up. Is this real? How the fuck did this go under the radar? See, I'll be tapped out with some shit. They do so good at like sweeping the whole shit under the rug. I be thinking they like the perfect couple. I don't even be like, I don't be tuned into their world of what they got going. Only thing I remember like vividly, like I, what I remember, remember is the elevator shit with his sister, with her sister over him cheating. I never knew who he cheated with. I don't know. I didn't know none of the details. I just know she whooped his ass in the elevator. Video went dumb viral. Everybody remembers it. 
Um, but yeah, I don't. I they do a good job of sweeping all their shit off the internet, making sure that shit. If it comes out, they pull it down and you forget all about it. Now this shit, this is crazy. How like nobody's talking about this? Like, what? The girl died, and she said she was gonna put out a story on her. Like, this is crazy. See, this is that type shit. The powers that be, they be protecting you and shit. It's like with Diddy, right? Diddy got all these cases that people or whatever, all these allegations people knew about. R. Kelly same shit. But why y'all wait to like? 30 years when they're trying to, like, break away from y'all. I mean, we know why, like, that clearly. Um, y'all, like, open the floodgates. Y'all open the floodgates for, for everything to come out at one time, to pour out at once. And it's like, I feel like that's, I hope it don't happen to Hove, man, but I, I hope it doesn't happen to none of these black, black, you know what I mean, legends and icons we looked up to. But, it seemed like shit, man. They don't like to let niggas go out peacefully, bro. They don't like to let pe- niggas die peacefully. They want you to, uh, they want to ruin your legacy before you go. But I feel like what is it that's making them do that to all these people, bro? Is it like niggas ain't trying to play ball with these niggas behind the scenes? I mean, with Diddy, it was kind of obvious. Like, Diddy, he started going against the grain, and he was flamboyant and popping in and disrespecting all them niggas who helped get him rich. So I could see that as a slap in the face to the rich niggas like, oh, this nigga got us fucked up. We the reason he can say he got a billion dollars and he want to come at us and say fuck us and don't do business with us and only buy his shit now? Oh, yeah, 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 we're, we're going to play ball. But see, Hove, Hove doesn't pop it. He doesn't go on the internet and flex. He doesn't do all that loud shit. Now, behind the scenes, I don't know what he do. But he's not one of them flamboyant, in the media, on TV, popping it on shows and interviews. Like, so he's so, like, off the radar. He's so ducked off. When shit like this happened, you be like, what the fuck? When shit like that with Diddy happened, you kind of like, ah, ah, he does have parties every night. So there is a chance that some of this shit may or may not be true, you know? But with Hove, damn Hove, like, unalive, I don't, I ain't gonna say he killed, I don't, he killed a girl over Beyonce. Nah, he ain't that. He ain't that sloppy. But then again, I didn't think Lil Dirk was gonna be that sloppy. Let's finish this. Shit. And about forty-eight hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay Z's baby, Kathy suddenly passed on under suspicious. Wait, whoa, hold on, hold on. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Go back. Did you just say forty-eight hours after she announced her baby, she died? 48 hours after Beyonce announced her baby, the side bitch died? To one of the sources, following her conversation with the tabloid, she called Jay and told him that she was going to go public with their affair for a price. Then, about 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay-Z's baby, Kathy suddenly passed on under suspicious circumstances, and the cause of death was given as a brain aneurysm. Tell me that isn't suspicious. A brain aneurysm? What? What? Jesus Christ. Nigga, what? So she, she pregnant 48 hours after. Okay, let me just break it down. She's pregnant. Wait, was she pregnant at the time, or did she have a... Like, what happened to the kid? Because they said the same year they were pregnant. She died the same year. Beyonce announced the pregnancy. She was pregnant the same year. That's what they said in the building, in the beginning. So this is all in the same year. So also in that same year, there was a call made that they're saying was made to Jay-Z. Hey, somebody trying to pay me for a bag. I'm about to out you. It was probably one of them same calls Diddy got from Cassie. I need this much money or I'm going to out you. But instead of letting it go there, they're alleging that, you know, after Beyonce announced her kids, two days later, uh, they basically had something to do with her death, and her cause of death was a brain aneurysm. Let's keep watching. This is crazy. 
sus. Of course, it's hella sus. And after a bit of more digging, I came across a report saying that Kathy did not die from a brain aneurysm. According to an NYPD detective, Kathy's cause of death was uncertain. And the detective said that they had the autopsy and toxicology reports done to figure out what really happened to her. Here's what the detective said. Quote, a 911 call came from an apartment on 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. Ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital and that's where she expired. It was too early to be speculating that an aneurysm killed her. They will be doing an autopsy later today to check out her cause of death. But someone might have given Kathy a bad so they'll do a toxicology and we'll have to wait two weeks for the report. Child, even after a detective confirmed that something sus was going on there, I find it quite fascinating Whoa. that the real autopsy report never came out and the information never found itself to the media. Basically, someone were- Whoa. Never came to the media. That's what I'm like. I never heard this shit. I know people would have ran this story the fucking through the mud. How the fuck is it that this story is out here and they didn't run this shit through the mud on shade rooms and all them places like that? This is a big deal. I never knew about this. This is crazy. Damn. Worked really hard to make sure that no more information got out about the affair and the cause of death was concluded as an aneurysm. Again, this definitely sounds like something Jay is capable of. So, this whole thing has been blowing over recently because a reporter named Liz Croken decided to spill. Liz said on X that in August of 2011, she was working as a senior editor for Star Magazine and her boss asked her to look into online blog reports claiming that a woman named Kathy Coriana White, who friends called Corey was having an affair with Jay-Z. Liz said... Okay, there it go. They, she just made the connection. So Kathy Coriana White, they call her Corey for short. Okay. Not Corey Gamble. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Corey Gamble. Said, I managed to get a hold of Kathy at her job in New York over the phone. During our first conversation, she denied having an affair with Jay-Z. Furthermore, she also claimed that she had never hung out with him or had even met him. I then uncovered photos of Kathy hanging with Jay-Z and Diddy, no less, at Tao Nightclub in Las Vegas. So I called her back and asked her about the photo evidence that debunked her initial claim that she had never met or hung out with Jay-Z. At this point, Kathy expressed to me that she would consider going public with her story. According to Whoa. Liz, days later she tried to reach her at work with no luck, and she finally got a hold of one of her colleagues and asked her if she knew why Kathy had been MIA. And her colleague shockingly told her she was no more. Liz also said that. Wait, 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 wait. All right, what was the window span on that from when she talked to her to when she was l looking for her? They just, they just jumped like it was the next day or something. What was the window span? That's what I need to know. Like, how, how long are we talking here? She said she was going to go public, and then how long did you call looking for her that said she was dead? Because, you know, the way it was just said right there, it could be like, oh, that's like the same day, same week. I don't know. That was tricky right there. Let's go that sources told her that Kathy had told Jay-Z she was considering going public with Star via her after they talked. She said there were also online blogs that reported the same story, and she ran a small story on this that appeared in Star at the time. In addition, she said she wanted to pursue the story further, particularly investigate if she was indeed unalived, but she was discouraged from doing so, and her boss was not interested in running a follow-up piece. Liz also mm. added that years later, she met sources who knew both Jay-Z Z and Kathy and inside information on her death and they strongly believed that Jay-Z had her unalived to silence her. Allegedly nah. one source even told her that Jay-Z had law enforcement and even coroners in his back pocket and the source also said that there were corrupt coroners in New York City who will rule homicides as natural deaths for cash uh -huh. and we are talking uh -huh. about a man who had millions so paying off corrupt coroners was really not a problem for <laughs> They try to get you, Jay. They trying to paint you as a monster. They trying to paint you as a monster, bro. So now they saying you paid the coroners to 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 label it the brain aneurysm and all that, or whatever. Oh, this is crazy. No way. See, now look. This is the shit that when these powers that be get mad at this nigga. They're going to kick it right off with this. 
with this story. They're going to kick it off, pick it up where it left off at, and present a proof of evidence to, to solidify it in the, public, in the public's eye. You know what I mean? Here's a video of them together, and look how mad she was. This was the last night before she died. Look how she stormed off walking away from Jay-Z. They'll put out a video and like, that's how they did it, man. They got us with the Cassie shit, and then they open up the fucking floodgates of hell on that nigga. Well, let's get the public to turn on him and feel like, hey, he's a woman beater, woo, woo, woo. And now let's open the floodgates and let's attack that nigga left and right. Because if they wouldn't have dropped that video with Cassie and they just open the floodgates, black people would have sided with Cub. Like, oh, no, they're trying to attack this black man. They knew what they was doing. And they leaked it out on CNN. They knew what they was doing. Now, Hove, you could tell that everybody, even the media, they throwing little hints out there like, Jay-Z is next, Jay-Z is next. Like, it's like people want Jay-Z to be next. And do I believe Jay-Z got some skeletons? I mean, hey, that's your circle of friends, man. And sometimes, you know, you may stick around for one of those parties or two. <laughs> you may stick around for a party or two. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Behova. And if y'all think Beyonce was innocent in all this, you might be mistaken. Allegedly, Beyonce was in on the plan to have Kathy alive, especially because she was pregnant with Jay-Z's child. There were even... Uh, I'm not going that far. No, I'm not going that far. So now they're both in on it. There's this evil couple that want to kill a side bitch and jeopardize what they both have going in life. Let's jeopardize what we have going in life for a side bitch. And she's cool with it, meaning like she's in on it. Like, no, nigga, that's the only reason he would cover it up, because he don't want her. I'm sure the world, he don't give a fuck about that. Like, yeah, it's going to look crazy, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's really, he don't want his girl. You know, if you're a male out there, you know what I'm talking about. Fuck the world, nigga. I don't want my bitch hot. I don't want my bitch to find out. I don't want my bitch, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm talking about. Allegations back in the day that Kathy's pregnancy was one of the reasons why Bay forced her own pregnancy announcement. And I'm sure y'all have heard the rumor that Beyonce was not actually pregnant. Yeah, I know, this tired old rumor again. Word on the street was that Beyonce had a surrogate to carry her baby, and that is why the timing was so off and the whole pregnancy was rushed. Allegedly, the rush to have a baby had something to do with the fact that Kathy was also pregnant around the same time. Plus, it would have been a PR nightmare for Beyonce and Jay Z if Kathy Kath did a tell-all around the time they had crafted her over-the-top pregnancy announcement that was obviously engineered as a Hollywood publicity stunt. I know there are also people who are wondering why Kathy was the only one who was unalive, even though we know that Jay-Z had other mistresses. We know that Rachel Roy was probably the one Bay was talking about in Sorry when she talked about Becky with the good hair. Rachel was apparently just one of the mistresses, but there have always been others. Allegedly, the reason why Kath- Wait a minute, god damn. What the hell is Rachel Roy? I'm out the loop. I don't be keeping up with all these basketball wives, bitches. That's what I call them. I don't know if they basketball wives or not. I don't keep up with all the girlfriends. Like, we're in an era now where all the girlfriends are popular. I can't keep up with all that. I'm an old school nigga, man. I'm from the era where the basketball players, they're the stars. And who they come to the game with, I don't, even, I don't know who that bitch is, man. Now you got to keep up with who their girlfriends are and their names. I can't do all that, bro. Who is Rachel? Who is Rachel Roy? That's Dame Dash ex wife. Wait, Jay Z was fucking Dame Dash ex wife. Jesus Christ, nigga, what? How the fuck do they keep all this shit? This information, what? Bro, I just show you how out the loop I am when it comes to like the 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 rumor mill with Jay Z. Like I don't. Be looking at Jay Z's rumor mill. Damn, this is crazy. That's Dame's baby mama. She got two kids with her, and Jay Z was fucking her before the kids or after the kids. Man, I don't fucking know. This is crazy.
Effie was taken out was because, unlike others, her intention was to extort Jay-Z. And she was also willing to spill a little bit of his secrets, because she had also seen plenty. Also, like I said earlier, Kathy was apparently friends with Jason Lee. And now people are saying that the connection is what Jason was holding over Beyonce's head the other day. The allegation is that Beyonce knows exactly what happened to Kathy, and she knows that Jason Lee knows. Girl, the reason why you don't see the story a lot is because there has been a lot of cleaning about anything Kathy related. Threads and posts suddenly get deleted. There are no videos from what happened. Blogs that wrote about it were taken down. And for him to be doing this much cleaning, Hova is definitely hiding something. But this. Wow. Hmm. That's interesting. This time around, he may not be able to run from it because guys are onto him hard. But what do you think? Do you believe that Jay had Corey unalived? Do you think Bay was in on it too? Sound off in the comments section below. Damn. All right. I mean, hey guys, listen. I came on here, I didn't know what to look at, and that shit came across the table. But now that's some interesting shit. So, so Jay Z and Beyonce have this image they uphold in the public eye of like the elite couple. The elite couple. The husband is rich, the wife is rich. They have a beautiful family. They're not in no drama. They're never in drama as far as in the public going crazy. But come to find out, yes, the fuck they do. And what's so crazy is like how some of y'all know it, but it's people out there like myself who don't know it, which means that that shit is getting swept under the rug. Y'all catching it and hearing about it, but it's not being pushed like a Diddy rumor is being pushed. It's not being pushed like a lot of these other rumors on celebrities is being pushed. Like they're not on it. So I mean, when that happens, it's the powers that be behind the scenes that's stopping that shit. Are making threats and hey, if y'all run this story, we gonna do this to y'all. You know what I mean? And Jay Z is definitely connected. Oh, especially Beyonce. Like they're connected with the powers that be. You know, that's a different, a different class of people, man. When you got that type of money, a billion dollars, like that's a different class of people. Just imagine the type of people that to get to make a billion dollars for one ain't easy, y'all. That's y'all know that. So to Make a billion dollars. You know what type of people you got to be around? Who's in your circle? Who who you got to deal with business-wise? Hey, and what they offer you? Hey, by the way, I got a friend. If anybody gives you any trouble, one call, you know how the white people be talking. <laughs> I got a doctor. I can send them. I got somebody that can prescribe the whoop whoop. But I'm, you know that rich people, they different. But yeah, that's crazy, man. Um, let's see something. Kathy White. Let's see what else we can find on this. This is uh I'm just I'm interested now. I don't I never heard of this shit. Kathy White. Oh shit. Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright got a story. I don't even want to click her shit yet. Sorry, Miss Carter video slams Beyonce. Let me see. Disturbing death of Jay Z's mistress. Oh, this shit is fuck. Oh, this Trap La Ross. Trap La Ross did a whole thing on this shit three months ago. Oh, so this is oh, this is a resurfacing thing. Cause the shit we just watched was from seven months ago. So this is all within the last year. It started to resurface and people started to bring it to the light. Oh. So the fact that it's not going crazy means they definitely stopping it because this video's out right here. Trap Ross got a 1.1 million views. Whoa. That shit is a fucking 50 minutes long. I ain't gonna watch that. Not right now. All right. Uh, oh, she was a publicist. This is from three days ago. Damn. So these stories are starting to like, oh, they're coming out. So it's resurfacing. People are going in. Oh, shit. Okay, let's watch this one. Popular publicist mysteriously dies after being linked to Jay-Z. Okay. Oh, we need you back so we could kill you. 
once again, you know, it's like this thing, this love, hate thing that the world has with success. G up, what's happening with you, my guy? It deals for the most part with success. People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same. And united we stand. And right. ain't nothing else. To, right. to us. Black yeah. right. 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 Brooklyn's own Jay-Z has become the first billionaire rap artist. Jay-Z famously said once, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. Now, it's been rumored that you're dating um, Jay-Z, right? Yeah. Yeah. When Beyonce started dating Jay-Z, who is very successful, but he's also, you know, generally considered a gangster rapper. Uh, the song Daddy, that she hoped that she found someone just like her daddy. Uh, how do you know I'm not a gangster? I've been I mean, in the music you? industry for 30 years. <laughs> Her pops is funny. And I would not be the woman I am if I did not go home to that man. New York Times Style Magazine, Jay-Z appears to have admitted that he cheated on Beyonce. This music is uh, dramatic as fuck, but it's on point for this story because I see what they're doing. Is definitely putting a build up on what they're breaking right now. This is crazy. Damn, ho, they're coming for you, ho. You better start putting that money to use, man. Get this shit off the internet. Such rumors have circulated since at least 2013 when Beyonce's sister, Solange, attacked Jay Z in an elevator at the Standard Hotel in New York City. In my mind, Beyonce didn't get in the middle because Solange was probably attacking him over something that he knows he was dead wrong about. And, and therefore, sister didn't get in the middle. You don't mess with Solange when it comes to Beyonce. You know that, um, or when it comes to her mom. The word on the street has always been that when Matthew came home uh, w with the mistress and pre was pregnant with the little half-brother Nixon, that Solange took it to her father, too. Beyonce dropped her highly anticipated sixth album, Lemonade, this weekend. On the album's fourth track, Sorry, Queen Bee calls out an unfaithful partner and ends the song by saying, he better call Becky with the good hair. That's a close friend of Jay. Uh, that line went viral as hell, too. Z, what was your reaction to him opening up about his infidelities? I, th I thought it was dope. I was surprised about Lemonade, but I wasn't surprised about You were. <laughs> Why don't you just talk about Kathy? That might help. That might help a lot. Kathy Coriana White, Jay-Z's pregnant mistress. We were at in Vegas twice for big events where all the celebrities were there. Wait, is that her right there? We just at the table next. We were the, we were the next table. Then they handed over some bottles to us. Back then, it's like he has all these mistresses, but like, why would he? Why would he murder Kathy? I, I wouldn't put nothing past nobody, especially in the manner of public humiliation for Jay having a baby by another woman uh, on Beyonce, who everybody loves. What the fuck? So this shit is just out there for the world and nobody's really talking about it. That is, that shows you how much power they got. This shit is some deep shit right here. We're talking about a woman who was pregnant by this man, allegedly, and two days after she announced her pregnancy, the woman mysteriously dies and nobody says nothing about this shit. Like, oh, this is dark. This is this is really dark right here. They was it, he would have got destroyed in the media, right? I'm so tired of false narratives. They wanted this story, this conspiracy theory, to be so true, so bad, and I was right there, and I'm a witness, and all this. It's not true. It tells me Claudia Jordan knows more than what she's acting like. But she's scared to say it. And then she has every right to be scared. Yeah. We gonna run this Whoa. Okay, so that's Claudia Jordan. All the information included is public knowledge. This information was included. This information included was gathered by local news outlets, public interviews, court documents, public records, 
and victims, family, and friends. Leah Gordon. All right, here we go. Wait, my bad. Fuck it, let's go. My, my, my. Kathy Michelle White was born on July 3, 1982, in Fort Polk, Louisiana. Her early life was marked by a blend of Southern charm and a drive of excellence that would later define her career. Kathy spent her formative years in Virginia Beach, attending Maury High School in Norfolk. She graduated in 2000 and is remembered by her peers for her vibrant personality and dedication to her studies. Her academic journey continued at Howard University in Washington, D.C., where she graduated in 2004. <laughs> Howard University, known for its rich history and culture, provided Kathy with a robust foundation in both her professional and personal life. Oh man, this is good. The, the little score, how they scored it with the music makes this shit interesting as hell. Kathy's transition from Howard to Los Angeles marked a significant turning point in her life and career. Moving to LA, a city known for its vibrant entertainment, provided her with numerous opportunities to leverage her skills and ambitions. As she established herself in LA, Kathy oh. founded White Label PR, a public relations firm that quickly gained recognition for working with top models and celebrities. This move showcased her ability to navigate and succeed in a highly competitive environment. In the final years of her life, she was frequently seen with notable figures such as Nikki Chu, Sheeta Maxwell, Bernadette, and Claudia Jordan. Her friendships were a testament to her dynamic personality and her professional network. Nikki, a designer and TV personality, was one of her closest friends. Maxwell is a known actress for her roles in various TV shows and films. Bernadette is a songwriter and former celebrity personal assistant. Claudia is a model and TV personality. Kathy and her friends were often seen and spotted at the hot locations. Kathy's combination of beauty, intelligence, and business made her a standout personality in LA. She attracted the attention of many high-profile individuals and solidified her place in the city's social and professional circles. Tweets from the group during that time boasted about their outings together. Although it's been said that Claudia and Kathy did not know each other that long, their bond was evident as they were friends. Wait a minute. So Claudia Jordan was with Diddy, and this girl was with, oh, that's why Claudia was at the table with her and her, and Diddy and Jay-Z. Ah, so they was on some couple shit. That bold, though, and Tao just hanging out, cheating on Beyonce, that's crazy. Okay, all right, I'm making some connections here, man. I'm making some connections here. I'm making some connections here. All right, let's go. Frequently spotted together at various industry events, including a notable sighting at Tao Nightclub in Las Vegas. The sighting has been a focal point in various rumors and conspiracy theories surrounding Kathy's life and untimely death. One thing I will say, they have been putting Diddy and Hove together like, like brothers, like, but then all this shit happened with Diddy and Jay-Z is nowhere to be mentioned. Y'all notice how Jay-Z name isn't being mentioned in none of this shit, but these niggas for sure, obviously, clearly, everybody mentioned these niggas was like super close. You definitely gotta be close to a nigga that cheat on Beyonce to be comfortable enough to be with him and cheating on Beyonce. You know how you don't want nobody to know about that? So if you with a nigga cheating on Beyonce, you trust the fuck out this nigga. That's crazy. When it was 2016, you know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. Yeah. You understand? Right. And we here together, and, and, and we gonna keep staying together. We getting tighter. That's you right. know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and united we stand. And right. ain't nothing else. To, right. to us. Black yeah. excellence. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That night, the friends, Jay-Z and Diddy, shared the stage and toasted to Ace of Spades. Jay-Z, born Sean Carter on December 4th, 1969, is a rapper and entrepreneur from Brooklyn, New York. So I just started doing interviews this year. Oh, yeah. Why did I become a rapper? I, didn't, I, I guess it was like a natural transition. I grew up around, you know, my moms and pops had an extensive record collection. So I just grew up around music, listening to all types of people. So it was just a natural thing. He co-founded Rockefeller Records in 1994 and released his debut album, Reasonable Doubt, in 1996. Jay-Z has since become the first hip-hop billionaire with ventures in music, fashion, and sports. He is married to singer Beyonce and has won 24 Grammy Awards. Sean Combs, born November 4, 1969 in Harlem, New York, is also a rapper, record producer, and entrepreneur. He founded Bad Boy Records in 1993, launching the careers of artists like Notorious B.I.G. and Mary J. Blige. Bad Boy Entertainment. I named it Bad Boy. Because I wanted to go against the grain. I named it Bad Boy because I want to go against the grain. Kind of bad. I wanted to make history. And that, that's all it's ever been about for me, making history. Combs has won three Grammy Awards and is also known as a successful businessman with ventures in television and fashion. You know something? I want me a piece of cheesecake. It's not about me trying I to want me a do piece a of cheesecake. initiation hazing act to them. It's a bigger picture to it. You know what Julius is at? Your fam, Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring him back a cheesecake and walk. Dad, like, <laughs> see me on TV. Let's go. Making the bitch, not making the bad. Okay, fun fact a lot of people don't know. That cheesecake we went and got was for Beyonce. She was upstairs the whole time. People were like, y'all walked and got a cheesecake. It was for Beyonce. I'll do it again. The two moguls' friendships began in the early 1990s. Uh, interesting. I heard that though. I knew about that. I heard that before. I heard that part before. When they were both emerging stars in the hip hop scene, their bond grew through mutual respect and shared ambitions, leading to collaborations on tracks like Young G's from Diddy's debut album, No Way Out. In 1999, they shared the stage for Diddy's tour. Rap shows, black shows have not sold out in years since Triple Threat. I'm telling you right now, we have it. It's easy. If you, we just do this, this couple of things, you're going to sell records, and at the end of the day, you're going to be going and playing to, to plan to pack houses. This definitely came up. It was just a major opportunity. Everybody, everybody just felt great and excited. Everybody jumping on stage, just doing what they do. I think rap has a stigma associated with violence and things like that. But if everything goes smooth, we can, we can do this every year. You know what I mean? Over the years, they supported each other both publicly and privately, navigating the highs and lows of their career. Both rappers found themselves in legal term oil in 1999, uh -huh. and they were facing the same amount of jail time. Per the New York Post, Jay was facing charges for stabbing Lance Rivera, who is known for starting a record label with Bad Boys Notorious B.I.G. More trouble. The 29-year-old rap star, whose real name is Sean Carter, has not only been charged with assault for the attack on Lance Un Rivera at the Kit Kat Club Wednesday night, he's also being charged in two previous assaults. Authorities say he attacked another man a week ago at the same Kit Kat Club, and yet another man has come forward telling what? cops Jay-Z hit him in the head with a bottle way back in April of 1990. He was out here wilding. 98. Jay-Z's lawyer, Murray Richmond, says his client is innocent of all charges. He's saying it sounds like some gold diggers are trying to set the Grammy Award-winning rapper up for lawsuits. Did your client stab, cut Lance on Rivera? Yeah, it's obvious. No, that he, he was not involved in any of this. He was there at the present of the scene, and uh, as always... With as always. The celebrity with the deepest pockets is the person everybody focuses on. And that's one of the tragedies of our society. If you don't know who Jay-Z is, just to show you how big he is, the day after his arrest, a giant billboard goes up in Times Square promoting his next album. And that Booyah. next album, Volume 3, The Life and Times of S. Carter, could be at the center of Wednesday Booyah. night's fight at the Kit Kat Club. A lot of people are saying Jay-Z accused Rivera of selling bootleg copies of the still unreleased album. Fellow rapper Fat Joe says he knows Stabbed both Jay-Z and Un Rivera very well and hopes none of this is true. We gotta get the facts. Hey, that shit was real. Like back in the day, niggas used to stab niggas, like beat niggas up, slap niggas up, shoot niggas over selling their music, leaking their music and selling it.
that was really a thing. Like, because you used to could sell uh, uh, early album shit on the street. You used to could sell that shit for twenty bucks, fifteen dollars shit, depending on if it was early. What? Clear before we know exactly what went down. You know, I personally, you know, like I was telling you a little while ago, you know, as far as I know, they good friends. You know what I mean? So it would really shock me to hear that, you know, Jay-Z was really involved with any type of problem with, like, Lance and Rivera. Jay-Z's lawyer says they have had conflicts in the past, but he insists Jay-Z never tried to settle them with violence. Meanwhile, Diddy was on the hook for his involvement in the infamous club shooting where the victim, Natanya Rubin, publicly stated that Diddy allegedly shot her in the face. All in all, both men avoided jail time and their friendship continued to grow. Why, why are they paying these two niggas like, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> this music, bro. Jay-Z hosted the party. On the night okay. of May 2nd, 2009, Jay-Z and Sean Diddy Combs were at Tao Nightclub in Las Vegas for a high-profile after-party following a major boxing match. Tao Nightclub at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas spans 10,000 square feet and features three bars, a dance floor, and a 40-foot outdoor terrace with views of the Strip. The club often hosts A-list celebrities and offers unique sights like bathtub models and rose petal baths. The night of this infamous photo, Jay-Z hosted the night dining with a group of friends from his record label. Meanwhile, Diddy hosted a table with Cassie. Cassie called out Diddy in November 2023, accusing him of abuse during their on and off 10-year relationship. She detailed these allegations in a lawsuit, claiming he had complete control over her life and forced her into compromising situations. One year later, Diddy was arrested. Uh -huh. Rumors from that night involved Kathy White, who was seen holding a bottle of Ace of Spades and was allegedly spotted with Jay-Z and Diddy at the nightclub. A single bottle of Ace of Spades can range from 2000 to 15000 at Tao Nightclub. Prices vary depending on the specific type and bottle size, with some special editions costing thousands of dollars. Jay-Z's relationship with the brand began in 2006 when he acquired a 50% stake. He purchased the brand outright in 2014 and has since played a key role in its rise to fame. Memorial Day weekend in 2008, okay? We went to, I went to Vegas with my friend Nikki too, so go ask her, okay? I've been not saying her name. She introduced me to her. We, we stayed in the same hotel room because back then we was broke, yeah. okay? We <laughs> knew my girls were in Vegas. We did a girls trip, and she was like, my girl, Corey, she's cool. When we went out, we saw Jay-Z's assistant, who knew me from before. I auditioned for his videos, and we were cool. She invited us to dinner at Tao. Diddy, Jay-Z, Larry Johnson was at the dinner table. And this is an exclusive, y'all. I'm fine. Oh, so she didn't know Jay-Z that night. This her first Claudia knew, uh, or whatever. But it, it don't sound like the Corey girl. All right, let me listen some more. Hold on, let me listen some more. Let me tell y'all, we was all around. Cassie was there. He was, nobody was hitting on us. We were actually like sitting there like, we don't belong at this table. <laughs> and then we all walked to Tao, the back entrance, and was at a club. His table was here, and we were a table over. At one point, Jay-Z handed me a bottle of Ace of Spades, and we all had our bottles up. Someone took a picture. That is it. I got drunk, went back to the room, woke up the next day, like, that was it. N nobody fucked nobody, that's what happened. And another time we saw him was another big weekend. If y'all are not familiar with Vegas, I know I'm going long. Memorial Day weekend, fight weekend, Labor Day weekend, that's when a lot of celebrities used to come out. So it would not be rare or odd to see a Diddy, a Jay-Z, an Eve, a, a this or that, a yeah. Little Kim. They would be out there for that. We randomly ran into him. Now, the second time we saw him, 
He was definitely out there and he had a show. According to Liz Crokin, who used to work for Star Magazine, Kathy initially denied knowing Jay-Z or even partying with him. However, Liz claims after being confronted with the pictures, Kathy considered changing her mind. Liz is a journalist and conspiracy theorist, but before her involvement... In oh, man. She looks trippy. This is who we supposed to base it off of her? A green-eyed white woman. Nah. That's what we basing this off of? Nah. Nah. I'm not going down that road. I'm not going to let this white, pale, blonde-haired, green-eyed white woman put this story out there that this man is cheating on his wife that he loved and break up their happy home, bro. This is a woman accusing him? I won't stand for it. I won't stand for it, bro. Fuck no. No. She look at a, a conspiracy theorist. Come on, man. Conspiracy theories. She was an award-winning entertainment journalist covering Hollywood for over a decade. Reports suggested that Kathy and Jay-Z were seen together at various events, not just in LA. According to popular blogs, Hollywood Unlocks, Jason Lee allegedly started spreading the rumor of the two dating. She had a boyfriend that we all went to Magic Mountain together. And I hate that this girl who was such a beautiful girl is getting dragged. I met her a few, like, uh, I think it was like May when I went to Vegas, a friend, a mutual friend, we all hung out. And then um, we hung out that summer, like a few months. And then some blogs started writing stories about her and him and me, and she just distanced herself from everybody and just was like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this and took away our social media. And then, we didn't talk, and I was like, what? I go, I don't talk to blogs. I freaking hate the whole giving, like, tipping people off on the stuff. Like, I'm not into that. But I understood she was a very private person. And then, um, like, so we hung out for maybe three or four months. So when I say I, we weren't best friends, I wasn't trying to distance myself. I'm just trying to put it in context. We weren't besties. We were just getting to... Wait, man. Wait a minute. So y'all got a woman that only knew this woman for three months talking on behalf of her? This is a shit show, bro. This is a shit show. So I'm thinking Claudia Jordan and the girl is cool. What Claudia Jordan is saying, that weekend of that notorious picture that was the weekend she met her through a mutual friend and they got invited to the club and so on and so forth. They hung out, nothing happened, boom. And then she said she only knew her for three months. What? Why? Is, nah, nah, this shit is all over the place. To know each other. And about two weeks before she passed, I got a, a call from her out of nowhere. She's like, Claudia, who's that blogger that was saying all that stuff about us? I was like, I told her, I was like, yeah, he, oh, he stay on my neck a lot. And she's like, yeah. And she's wanted, I think she's wanted to call and kind of squash it. I said, hey, I have nothing to lose right now, not for nothing. Um, I hate that we fell off. We were just starting to get to know each other. I really like you. And I never was the one that gave any stories about you to any blogs or anything. She goes, I knew. I know it wasn't you. And she said, oh my you're a God. good person. And I know that now. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh, this shit is twisted. So she only knew her for three months. Okay, so basically what she's saying is they fell out over her, Kathy thinking that she tipped off the reporter, which is the green-eyed white lady, I would say, blonde. And then now, two weeks before she died, she called her and asked her who was this guy, a barber, and that, hey, I knew you had nothing to do with it. Don't that story sound like when, you know when people die, they can say anything. People can say anything. Oh, I talked to him before they died, and we had this conversation, we squashed our differences. Nobody can confirm that because the other person is dead. So we don't know, like, ah, this shit is all over the place. And that was our last conversation. 
and two weeks later, I got a call from our mutual friend that said she was out on a date, and she Kathy passed away. Liz also alleged that Kathy was pregnant with Jay Z's child and planned to go. Wait, what did she say? She was out on a date and passed away. That was our last conversation, and two weeks later, I got a call from our mutual friend that said she was out on a date, and she Kathy passed away. Liz also. What? Out on a date and pass away. Hmm. And she was pregnant. Right? Did she die while she was pregnant? Is that correct? She was out on a date while pregnant. Who was she on a date with? Like, huh. Oh. So alleged that Kathy was pregnant with Jay Z's child and planned to go public with her story. With Back then, it's like he's all these mistresses, but like, why would he? Why would he murder Kathy? And he has a bunch, right? He's, you can't murder all your mistresses. And like, what would be the incentive? Or when I first started, just calling her, telling her I wanted to interview her, but I didn't realize at the time is that Beyonce was pregnant. The news had not broken. I'm not fucking with this. I'm not fucking with this her at all. I'm telling you right now, I'm not fucking with this white lady, blonde, white, green eye lady putting this on Jay Z. I'm not, so anything she's saying right now, I don't give a flying fuck about because y'all know what they motives is. They she's here for one mission, one mission only, and that's to tear that motherfucker shit down. That, that black couple. I'm not rolling. I'm not even. Man, fuck this. I'm not, fuck. Look at her, look at her, bro. I, she like a witch, bro. I'm not listening to her, bro. Yeah, and I also didn't realize that they were crafting one of the biggest publicity stunts to announce Beyonce's pregnancy on stage at the VMAs. You know, yeah. it's her performance at the very end. She turned, oh, look, oh my God, she's a baby bump. She's pregnant. Like, no, I didn't even know. And I was like working in the business. I did not know she was pregnant. That's a big deal for a celebrity because that's going to get you like great press for the next like two years right oh like you know like getting ready for baby and Thanks. but there are reports that that she was found after the vma performance but i'm pretty sure that she i knew she was dead before beyonce announced that she was pregnant i'm pretty i know it was 15 years ago i could have that wrong but i do remember thinking why would there be a major motive to murder this mistress, uh, 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 yes, if she's gonna tell, if she's gonna give me an exclusive on the record, that's a huge problem. But tragically, Kathy passed away shortly after to a brain aneurysm on September. Man, that shit ain't adding up, bro. I'm getting like, tr like y'all paying something. This now the story's not adding up to me. It's like <laughs> she didn't even know the she didn't even know Jay Z that night. They made it seem like this was a side bitch and they was on a dinner date. That's what they the other shit was saying. They was on a date together with Diddy and Claudia and and her. And, oh, my God. What's y'all thoughts, man? What y'all think about this shit? This shit is all over the place. September 1st, 2011, at the age of 28, the timing and the nature of her death, coupled with the alleged relationship with a high-profile celebrity, fueled public interest and debate. What type of confirmation do we have that she was aside? That's what has yet to be produced in this video. Nothing they have said or sh they haven't shown that she was a side piece in any way. All I got for this video so far is her and Claudia Jordan met through a mutual friend uh, of the weekend in Vegas. They were broke, so they all was in the room together. And Claudia Jordan in the PR, invited them to a party, they hung out. W make this connection for me somewhere. Like how they could go from that story to... The other story saying Diddy and Hove was with her and Claudia and they was side pieces. And so she didn't even know Claudia. Like, I make this make sense. Who the fuck is lying? Who's what? I don't fucking know. 
Beyonce was pregnant with her first child, Blue Ivy, around the same time these rumors surfaced. Beyonce announced her pregnancy on August 28, 2011, during her performance at the MTV Video Music Awards. At the time, the tabloids were buzzing with excitement, but also speculation regarding Kathy White. Some started to speculate that Beyonce's song, Ring the Alarm, might reference their situation. Ring the Alarm was written by Beyonce, Swiss Beats, and Sean Garrett. According to reports, Beyonce was inspired to write Ring the Alarm by a mix of personal and artistic influences. Beyonce wanted to create a song that was honest and raw. Furthermore, the music video for Ring the Alarm was inspired by the 1992 thriller Basic Instinct. The film follows a detective as he investigates the murder of a rock star. The prime suspect is a seductive and devious novelist who uses her sexuality. Classic movie, by the way. Classic movie, man. Sharon Stone. Legendary, man. This made the world love her. That leg cross in the interrogation room. Sharon Stone, white dress. Oh, legendary, man. Legendary to entangle men. However, Ring the Alarm was released and written in 2006, which was six years before the picture of Kathy and Jay-Z. Therefore, many have debunked that the song referenced Kathy's alleged pregnancy or affair. Claudia Jordan also debunked the rumors, including that Kathy was ever pregnant. And as bad as you want this story to be true, I cannot give you the confirmation that woman that they attached to him and saying he was, she was his mistress, never told me, alluded to, or displayed at being this man's mistress, period. And I need people to stop. We were at in Vegas twice for big events where all the celebrities were there. I've never seen them talking. Oh. We're just at the table, next, we, were the, we were the next table there, and they handed over some bottles to us. It wasn't like that. But they want this story to be so true, and it's just so <laughs> oh. you know what? Listen, maybe this ain't the right video because right now there this video is doing a good job of selling. There was no connection with the girl and and Jay Z. I'm not getting no connection made here that. Jay-Z and the girl knew each other. There's no connection being made in this video. So is there a better video out there where y'all getting the connection from? A valid connection? Because the only thing that comes up is this Vegas Towel Club. Where's another time that they were spotted one-on-one -on -one or whatever the fucking case? Like, we need those details. If y'all gonna put this on, this is side piece. This is Jay-Z. He can't move nowhere without being noticed. What the fuck? Somebody gonna see him with the bitch. Jay-Z, what the fuck? It's a murder. Yeah, you know, just... Br it did not happen. I didn't know her super well. We was just getting to know each other. And then we had a breakup because these bloggers put this stuff out there that, oh, Claudia is jealous of this relationship that she has with this rapper and that she thinks that sh he should be after her because she's a bigger name. I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? A totally made-up narrative. And no one is paying me to say this, like I said. No one's threatening me to say this. No one's controlling me. This is Claudia. What's Claudia Jordan's whole M.O., y'all? Is she like a, a a clout demon, a thrill seeker? Like, what is her whole M.O.? I don't know nothing about Claudia Jordan, so I don't know whether her word is any good or if she's like a clout demon. I don't fucking know, but it don't sound like she's chasing no clout. It sounds like she's debunking clout. Like, she's debunking everything. Like, hey, it was nothing like that. It was all, she's not trying to overly sell shit. She's letting it be known. I only knew the girl for a couple months. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jordan, and my big mouth clearing the air. I'm sick of it. And then I, I do a show and people on the come. Well, we need you to talk about. Duh, duh, duh. We don't listen to anything you say until you address this. What the f do you want me to say? Do you want me to tell you a lie so you can feel better and be like, aha, got you, bitch? 
it didn't happen. Nonetheless, Beyonce later did address her husband's cheating and betrayal, notably during her 2016 Lemonade album. She never mentioned who the other women may be, but fans and media really started to create its own narrative. When TMZ obtained footage of Beyonce's sister, Solange Knowles, getting into a brawl with Jay-Z in the elevator during the 2014 Met despite so in 2011 is when the girl was pregnant <clears throat> and uh, allegedly pregnant because claudia jordan saying she she don't think she was pregnant she would have told her um she died and J this is the same year they announced she dies two days after beyonce announces her kid blue ivy two days after but this shit happened with the sister in 2014 that's three years later. What does that have to do with anything, I wonder? Why would three years later they're trying to, like, put this in the... You're saying to you address this. What the f*** do you want me to say? Do you want know. me to tell you a lie so you can feel better and be like, aha, I got you. I Team Meg. Despite this incident, Beyonce started writing the songs for Lemonade between June 2014 and July 2015. And for her to say, I'm going to talk about my pain and anger at you, what were those conversations like? Again, it didn't it didn't happen in that way. It happened we we were using our with our art almost like a therapy session. Best place is right in the middle of the pain, right? And that's where we were sitting, and it was uncomfortable, and we had a lot of conversations, you know, and really proud of the music she made, and she was really proud of the the, mm -hmm. the art I released, and you know, at the end of the day, we really had. A mm -hmm. healthy respect for one another's craft. Mm -hmm. I think she's amazing. Right. You know, most people walk away and like divorce rate is like 50% or something because most people can't see themselves. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. Yeah. So you yeah. don't, most people don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to look inside yourself. Around the time she was writing this album, singer songwriter Maya was also linked to the rapper Jay Z. Although the singer denied having <sighs> any connection with the rapper, other than their project together in the early 2000s. Did you hear Beyonce overnight? No, what happened? She released all of this stuff, you know, accusing Jay Z of cheating. Oh, that's awful. I know, right? Um, do you think that Beyonce would do that for publicity, or maybe she genuinely feels it? Well, I can't really speak on you know, what another person does, but art is art, and it's definitely an expression of self, often truth. Often truth, you think? Because... It can be. It can be free therapy. <laughs> because in the past, of course, you've been accused of similar things. That's what you sign up for when you enter the business. Absolutely, but it must be hard dealing with all the beehive coming at you. I don't have anybody coming at me. <laughs> but I know what I'm not guilty of. Uh, of course, of course. Do right. you think he's, he's capable of such things? I think any man is capable of such things. <laughs> oh, no. She did admit that soon after their project, she was blackballed for maintaining her integrity and refusing to compromise her values. Jay-Z has been linked to several women with rumors of infidelity that have fueled much public speculation. These allegations have kept the public intrigued and have been a significant part of the narrative surrounding what's real in the couple's relationship. I'll be off the loop on this shit. I've never heard Jay-Z get accused of cheating. That just lets you know how out the loop I am. Like, But I'm usually alert to shit that the public... Like, so I mean, I'm not seeing it in the public then. I would have I would have remember seeing, like, Jay-Z got his ex-girlfriend, I mean, wife killed, like, on Shade Room. I don't think I ever saw that on Shade Room. Like, or, like, I don't remember seeing that. What the fuck? Damn. Can we get some real information on Kathy? Because uh, using Claudia Jordan, that just isn't credible enough for me. A woman that says she only knew this woman for three months. That's not credible enough. I'm I'm really in the middle. I'm still in the middle. I'm still in the middle. I'm like, ah, uh, right now, I don't believe it. And I don't I don't believe it. So I'm just I'm just still in the middle. Like, uh. I'm not sold. I'm not sold yet. 
Despite these conspiracy theories, there has been no concrete evidence to suggest any criminal activity is related to White's death. Her untimely death was attributed to a brain aneurysm, a sudden and often devastating condition. Black women are at a higher risk for brain aneurysms compared to other demographics. They are about twice as likely to experience a rapture compared to white women. And although they are more common in people over the age of 40, brain aneurysms can occur in healthy individuals. Because Kathy was known for her fitness and health, the unexpected nature of her passing led to much speculation and rumors about the possible causes, including foul play. And two weeks later, I got a call from our mutual friend that said she was out on a date. She's not a credible source, y'all. I'm telling you now, this shit is incredible. It isn't it's, we're talking to a woman who only knew this woman for three months. And let, this came out of her mouth. They were cool for three months, and then they fell out because of tabloids. And then she reached out for her down the line two weeks before she died, asking for a barber. Did you remember a barber? And then no mention of her being pregnant. And Claudia Jordan saying, I don't think she was pregnant. I don't believe she was pregnant because she would have said something to me. Was she? She don't really know you. Three months. It ain't like y'all together every day for three months. Like, I don't, know, I don't know. All right, let's see. And she passed away and had an aneurysm, and she was with her man. And then all these conspiracy theories came out, and I'm trying to, like, defend myself, and, like, that didn't happen. Like, why are you guys saying this? And then people saying I signed NDAs, I'm in on this, and I, I'm like, y'all are making this story up. Like, people want these conspiracy theories to be so true. Like, if I go like this, like, I'm part of the Illuminati. I'm not. Like, I'm so tired. And it seems the more I defend this, the more they want to believe it. It's, it they want to believe what they want to believe. This girl was ne has never told me. That girl never told me. I'm not trying to say her name because mm -hmm. I don't want her family to be upset. Never told me she was dealing with this man. This, this married man. And... I knew her to be with somebody else. So when I try to defend this, it just gets twisted and, oh, yeah, you know more. You, you must have signed an NDA and that check. No one paid me to say this. I just... All right. So here's my thing. Here's my thing. Because maybe I missed something. She said, Claudia Jordan, in 2009 or when, whatever year it was, they went to... 2009, I want to say. I think Claudia Jordan ended up saying 2008, but they were saying 2009. But look, 2009, let's say. When they went to Vegas on this week in a towel, she was broke. Claudia Jordan said we were broke. Mm-hmm. 2009. So in 2011, Kathy was 28 when she died. So in 2009, she's 26. She's 26 years old. And she was saying, also, Claudia, we didn't have no money, so we stayed in the room together. I met her through a mutual friend. So you guys are telling me that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with a girl that's shacked up in the... Ah, Jay-Z can't be that sloppy. I don't see whole being that sloppy to just like... And then get her pregnant. Nigga, you be on... I don't even sound like... Come on, bro. Is Jay-Z that... And listen, this has got to be one of the greatest cover-ups in the history of nigga shit if Jay-Z is that thirsty where you have Beyonce... And you cheat on Beyonce with bitches who share rooms in Vegas with their friends. I don't see Jay stooping that low. Oh, yeah, she's a pretty woman. Child, you know, she's pretty. She's beautiful. But we're talking about a nigga that got a star bitch, like, stooping that low to a woman who's sharing rooms in the whole... But then again, I don't know. Is he that thirsty? Where he'd be like, hey, I, I boss you up. I don't see a Jay-Z being that. No, I don't see that. Me, Percy. I'm not sold, guys. I'm letting you know I'm not sold. It's like, think about the family of this girl, that how she must, they must feel. Because I'm sure some blog stories get to them, and they be like, is it true? You know?
it, it, it just, people want these stories to be so true. And everyone's like, right now, after especially the Diddy scandal, everyone's like, they want like, they want, who's next? Who we, who we taking out next? And to me, my opinion, Diddy deserved it. But all these people that you want to take out, they don't necessarily deserve it. The rumors, however, have been persistent, fueled by those who believe there is more to the story than meets the eye. In a recent podcast, Jaguar writes, a They got to present some facts, man. Like, you can't run this narrative and you don't got no strong facts. Like, oh, they're in this picture together. She's holding up a bottle. She's in this section. That's all you got? And in the picture, she's not right next to him. She's like, it's two people in between them. Like, and Claudia saying, hey, nigga, shit, they just handed us a bottle. Nigga, shit. Claudia sound like she's keeping it real. She's giving you the real uncut story. But I know, like, the connection. And then what well, I just also keyed into right now, when she said Diddy deserves it. So I was going to see how she was going to respond to Diddy shit. Like, is she team Diddy? But clearly, she like, Diddy deserves it. So, okay, all right. So maybe she is just telling the truth, y'all. Maybe she is. I don't see, I, it doesn't give, like, thirsty clout chaser vibes or over the top. It seemed like a straight shot, like a straight story. Like, hey, this what it was. She ain't sugarcoating shit. That's what it sounded like to me. I, I'm not getting, like, she lying vibes. It doesn't, I don't, I don't know. Singer who collaborated with Jay-Z in 2001 directly called out Diddy, urging him to start snitching. Why don't you just talk about Kathy? That might help. That might help a lot. <laughs> I was I was saying it, those who don't know who Kathy is. Kathy Coriana White, Jay Z's pregnant mistress, who died twenty four hours after she announced that she was going public with their relationship and the baby. While he was married to Beyonce. She echoed similar claims on British journalist Piers Morgan uncensored show. Since the interview, Piers Morgan apologized after the Carter family sent him a cease and desist. Claudia Jordan <laughs> also didn't waste any time regarding Jaguar Wright's accusation. Claudia emphasized that during their time together, Kathy never mentioned anything about being involved with Jay-Z, let alone being pregnant by him. I saw him in Vegas at a party where Jay-Z was there. Diddy was there, my friend Kathy White, that y'all keep trying to tie me into her death. It is not true. She was not having an affair with, with uh, Jay-Z. She never told me she was messing with him. Matter of fact, when she died, she had a boyfriend. His name yeah. was Malcolm, and she died with him. I need y'all to stop this rumor that, wow. that she was pregnant by Jay-Z. She never told me that. I never seen her pregnant. I seen her drinking. So there it is. She had a boyfriend. Name was Malcolm, and she died. She said on a date, so while she was on a date with him, she died with Malcolm while they was on a date. She had a boyfriend, so she's pregnant. I'm sure he was under the assumption that was his kid, if that's her boyfriend. I don't, see, that's what I'm saying, like, y'all can spin, the media can spin shit and put this narrative on people, and it's like, no, nah, like, what if she really don't know Jay-Z like that and or know him at all? It was just one night they hung out and now y'all just ruined this woman's... Shit, she was probably stressing, nigga. She pregnant. Y'all, they in the media talking about... I don't know. That's... This is crazy, man. I need, I need more facts if I'm going to believe this. It hasn't been nothing like... It hasn't been nothing strong presented yet. At this point, it's like people are just milking this headline. They're making content milking this headline. Because this whole video has been Claudia Jordan being posted. And Claudia Jordan is saying she's not, the girl's not Jay-Z side bitch. So why you keep putting Claudia Jordan in your video about Diddy side bitch? It doesn't make sense. We went to Magic Mountain, Six Flags together, and was on the ride. These are not things that people that are pregnant by superstars do. No. They try to protect that fetus. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. So I need y'all to stop. It's not true, y'all. And y'all running with one source, and then Jaguar gets on and reiterate, brings the shit back up, and y'all believe it. Now, I'm not saying that she don't say some real stuff. I don't know her like that. But when it comes to me, I was never Diddy's girl. And if you had an address, I would serve you. 
but you don't. Oh. Well, look at here. See? Y'all been in the chat talking about she was Diddy's girl. You said she was never Diddy's girl. So the whole sitting down at the table with... Man, see? See, this is some bullshit. She doesn't give me like she's lying vibes, bro. You can tell like a liar. She doesn't get those vibes. It's just like she's being direct and straight. That's the vibe I'm getting. Like it's, You know how you get that energy like somebody's a liar? Like, ah, this bitch lying. Like we just seen with the white reporter lady. That energy she had was like when she was talking, it was like, bitch, you sound like you lying, like you putting this on these people. Oh, no. Don't, okay? If you had an address, I would serve you. I met Diddy one time. I was at the BET Awards in 2008, I think it was, when mm -hmm. MySpace was still around. Mm -hmm. um, I was at rehearsal. He was at rehearsal, and he comes up to me and said, um, what parties are you going to? So I was like, I don't know. Wouldn't you know where the parties are? And he's like, yeah. So mm -hmm. he got my phone number, and I said he would let me know what the popping places were. I was like, cool. That's it. I went back to my, my house got changed, came back to the award show, and I presented at the BET Awards when I was on the show Ballers, all right? It was a sports show on BET. Yeah. So when I was on stage, he texted me and says, you look so pretty. He's like, come backstage. We're all having drinks. It, it's a bunch of us. I was like, all right, I'm bringing my best friend, Alta, who introduced me to me. We go backstage. We had some drinks. I had one of them cheap-ass disposable cameras, okay? I said, like, ooh, can we get some pictures? We took a picture. Anyone that knows me knows how playful I am. I put my hand on his face like this. And he was behind me like, <laughs> like, you know, and I put it on my MySpace, right? I put all the people I met, Patti LaBelle, LL Cool J, the picture with Diddy, Kim Kardashian, <laughs> all the people. <laughs> if, if anyone can get into my old MySpace, you can see all the pictures. Um, he never called me that night to tell me what party he was going to. I didn't hear from him. The next day, I get a gang of text messages and phone calls from a new, the New York number, from his number saying, baby girl, why are our personal pictures on, on media takeout? I said, what's media takeout? I didn't know what media takeout was at the okay. time. He was like, call Fred. He gave me his bat line and get this off. I go, get what off? I went and looked. It was like, did he leave Cassie for deal or no deal model? I was horrified. A, oh. I, don't, I don't do that second, the other girl shit. I'm very adamant against that. B, I don't want to keep touching to, to Diddy like that. I was cool with Kim Porter. It was not a good look for me, and he just had the twins. So, anyways, I started calling, trying to get this shit taken down. This motherfucker texted me 56 times in one day. And his moods went from, baby girl, why are our pictures to, if I thought you did this on purpose, I would have had you hurt. And it got crazy. So I called him back one time. Uh, that's one thing about Diddy, man. Everybody got the same story with that nigga. They say that nigga snap, he snap. He gonna blow your phone up, he gonna call. Diddy didn't give a fuck. See, Diddy was a liability, man. Them people had to get him out the paint. <laughs> they had to get him out the paint and collect them tapes. Like, look, he's a liability, man. He's crashing out. We gotta get these tapes, and we gotta sit this nigga in the jail. It, it, he's a liability. He can't be out here. He's liable to tell all the dark secrets or something. Ah. Uh, now, this Claudia going against everything that I thought in the beginning. Her words now, now that she's talking more. I'm thinking she's Diddy's side bitch. I mean, Diddy's bitch. So, this picture was when he was with Cassie. So, she's saying she was cool with Kim Porter. Kim Porter was her people. And this is right after that picture. Why would you take a picture with Kim Porter's baby daddy then? Like that. Now, that's where I started raising some antlers now. That's why I raised my hand. Hey, shout out Jersey in the building, man. Fresco Bar 47, shout out to you. Now, that's why I raised my antlers at. Kim Porter is your girl. And you take a picture like that holding his face. And you knew her. And this was, you knew he was with Cassie. And... <laughs> and Kim, they had just had twin babies with Kim. That's two things you say you knew. Now see, now this is when I was, I was, I was riding with you up until this point. Now, now you know you done fucked up, right? Then he called you, said, "Why is our personal pictures up here?" 
And this was while he was with Cassie, and it was right after he just had twins with Kim Porter, and Kim Porter's my girl. Why'd you take a picture of holding that man's face like that? All right. I'm with my publicist friend on the line, and she heard him say that he would make me disappear. So then I had to buck up back with him and said, look, motherfucker, don't talk to me like that. I'm not scared of you. This is before I heard about some yeah. of the other shitty yeah. people, right? <laughs> yeah. Hanging people upside down out of buildings. So I was popping up like, man, he ain't about to talk to me like that. And then he goes, what are you wearing? And his tone changed. And I go, what? I never talked to him again. He never called me after that. And I have to phone. <laughs> say, what are you wearing? I think it did be off that coat. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga just told her, I, I kill you. I make you disappear. And then she buck up and he say, What do you wear? I think it did his burp, bro. Phone still, I just have to like I couldn't charge it. The charge port went dead. So I still kept it, right? I have it. So fast forward years later, I'm at Howard's homecoming, an SCV drives by me, and someone says, Someone wants to talk to you. And he rolled down the window, it's Diddy. And he goes, oh, you can't speak? And I was like, oh, I didn't think we were friends after the last time I interacted with you. And that is it, you guys. I, I wouldn't put nothing past nobody, right? Gotcha. In, in regards to that. Um, especially in the manner of public humiliation for Jay. All oh, these motherfuckers is twisted, bro. All these celebrity motherfuckers. It's like a little... Sorority and fraternity of like just freaks, bro. When they when they get to that certain level, they all just fuck on each other and they all share the same girlfriends. You notice that? How like this bitch be this nigga girlfriend. And it'd be the same circle of homeboys. And then next year she's this nigga girlfriend. And the same circle of homies. And then two years later, she's this nigga's girlfriend. And they'd be like, What? How's that possible, bro? Like Ah, these motherfuckers be freaks, man. Having a baby by another woman uh, on Beyonce, who everybody loves, they would it, he would have got destroyed in the media, right. right? This video is definitely not what I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be like actually presenting some details, and thus far it hasn't presented shit. They told us shit we knew about Hove and Jay Z and all that. I mean Hove and uh, Diddy, and you know, the girl, a little backstory, but we haven't got, like, the the year of story. Like, make the connection. It seemed like nobody had a ties with her, and nobody knows nothing up until the, when she died. So how do y'all know? Like, y'all wasn't keeping tab. Y'all wasn't keeping tab. Like, how do y'all know this is Jay-Z's baby? You haven't presented nobody who who said, like, hey, I was with her during her pregnancy. Claudia George said she didn't even know. Like, where is the solid evidence at? Claudia Jordan, I'm going to say it again, she's not a credible source as far as, like, putting this theory on, it, on him. Like, she's basically like, hey, I didn't know her. I did know her, but our relationship wasn't best friends. I knew her for three months, and then we fell out, and then, boom, we got back cool. We were on cool terms. We, You know what I mean? But... She wasn't this type of person, and we never was that. With the media's making us out to be like we're uh, partners in cheating or partners in dating, you know what I mean? But yeah. But she go to say, and some of these people die for comb. Y'all think these people really was went in comas and and, and uh, died of a pneumonia and brain and and then she goes um. And, and y'all think these is natural causes. They're not. Okay. So when she said that, she implicated to me that allegedly she know more than what she's saying. And when she said brain aneurysms mm -hmm. and that she didn't really die of a brain aneurysm, right, allegedly, mm -hmm. that... So foul. That, yeah. So it, it tells me Claudia Jordan knows more than what she's acting like, but she's scared to say it. And then she has every right to be. Kathy's sudden death left a significant impact on those who knew her and the industry she worked in. Despite the controversies and speculation, her legacy continues through the memories of her contributions to public relations and fitness and the inspiration she provided to many. Yeah, that sucks. 
I ain't going to lie, man. I ain't fuck with that at all. But I had to complete it. I wanted to see if something was going to come about. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would have to dig into this some more. But what I, what it's giving right now to me is this was something that was out back in the day. A story that was out back in the day. It didn't really go crazy publicized because the powers that be swept it under the rug. Cool. But it was reignited when uh, Jaguar Wright went and sat down with the Pierce dude, um, in which Jay-Z and Beyonce, people sent the uh, cease and desist to take it down or take their name out of it or whatever. So that's what reignited it. Because I'm looking, I'm like, all, a lot of these shit say seven days ago, three days ago, last three weeks ago, like type shit. So um, my take is, listen, Whatever it was, if it was that, they did a fucking great job at making sure a lot of strong details didn't get out there. Because it would have been some of this video. For sure. If it was some. But banking it, all they have is Claudia Jordan fucked with Diddy and they knew each other, which makes the story make sense because Jay-Z was there and and they was at the table, and, and it was at Tao. And she was holding a gold bottle, but this is the company that he ended up buying, but also he was promoting at the time. So you don't think he's going to have gold bottles at his section? This isn't like a nigga who's going to buy the bottles. He's hosting a fucking party. And you don't think when he's hosting it, he's saying, hey, you know, if this is what I'm promoting, make sure, you know what I mean, we're bringing in this many bottles or y'all gonna have to give me that. Y'all gotta make sure y'all stock that, and that's how many of them I want. Like, come on, man. Uh, like that's like some surface level shit right here. If y'all have some better videos regarding this, that actually has more details and credible details in your opinion, feel free to send it to me, man, and I'll react to it, and we'll do a part two to this. But right now, I feel like I'm leaning towards this shit is cap. Why? Because you haven't... If I was on a jury stand or something, not guilty, Jay-Z. Hove isn't guilty. There's nothing that was presented to make me feel like he's guilty of anything. Nothing. Nothing was presented. I watched this shit. I watched two videos, right? We watched two videos. Nothing has made me yet say like, oh, there it is. There it is. That's that's the that's the connection. Like, even when Claudia Jordan slipped up and said the shit, like, ah, I still don't. For what they're trying to say, like, this is a side piece, and he got her pregnant. It would really be a big deal if that was so. I don't see that being like, I'm talking about a, a woman that's pregnant at the same time as Beyonce, and he had her killed. Like, it would be a big deal, man. I don't even think. Powers that be could sweep. Yeah, you could sweep some of it, but it would be a way bigger deal if it was true. In my opinion, that's what I think. But hey, if y'all got something, like I said, a video that can confirm, send it to me. Send it to me. I'll react to it. We'll 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 start from there on the next one, man. But definitely, uh, thank y'all for watching, man. Make sure y'all um leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, man. Smash the motherfucking like, all that good shit. Y'all know how I go, man. Pun solve mysteries. We're going to keep these going. We're going to keep these going, man, right here with the ace pit. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments what y'all want me to react to next, what y'all want me to deep dive on. And uh, yeah, man, appreciate y'all. Love y'all motherfuckers, man. Till next time, I'm up out of here. Gone. Hey, shout out to you for tuning in. Now be sure to smash the like and download Underdog Fantasy. All you have to do is pick higher or lower on players and you can win big. If you want to make some extra cash and have more fun while you watch sports, download Underdog and get up to a thousand times bonus cash. And did I mention? Underdog is available in 33 states. Head over to your app store and download it today and join the millions of fans who have won billions on Underdog. Just use my code, Ace Boys.